Welcome to Online Worship from Bethany Lutheran Church for All Saints Sunday 2023. There is a song that includes the refrain, second verse, same as the first. It kind of sums up human history with our problems that we have with one another and inside ourselves and our spiritual problems with God. But the song for today, which is the basis of the message, helps us to sing a new kind of song and have new kinds of opportunities for the way that we look at the world. Our worship begins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The splendor of the King Clothed in majesty Let all the earth rejoice let all the earth rejoice He wraps himself in light And darkness tries to hide Trembles at his voice Trembles at his voice How great is our God Sing with me how great is our God And all we sing how great How great is our God Age to age he stands In time The reading for today is Psalm 149, verses 1 through 5. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise in the assembly of His faithful people. Let Israel rejoice in their Maker. Let the people of Zion be glad in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing, and make music to Him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the humble with victory. Let his faithful people rejoice in this honor and sing for joy on their beds. Here ends the reading. A 
thousand times I fail So your mercy remains Should I stumble again Still I'm caught in your grace Everlasting Your light will shine when all else fades Never ending Your glory goes beyond all fame my heart and my soul I give you control Consume me from the inside out Lord, let justice and praise Become my embrace To love you from the inside out Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus. Amen. There is an old children's song that goes, the refrain in a way, goes second verse, same as the first. It's one that uh, probably annoyed my parents quite a bit on the long road trips with my sister and I would sing it. I don't remember my children singing it, but maybe that's just my poor memory. But that's the way the world is too often. Second verse, same as the first. The story of human beings is not a story of glory after glory. It is instead a story of death after death, anger after anger, hatred after hatred, all of that never seeming to end. Those times in the world in which there has been relative peace have been a relative rarity, unfortunately. The world is not that. We're used to the song that the world sings. It's military songs, it's martial songs. We're used to hearing the sounds of people crying because they've been attacked. We're used to hearing the sounds of other people's lives being destroyed. We're used to hearing our own, perhaps, weeping because of the things that we've had to experience or maybe even the things that we've done. The world lives this way. Second verse, same as the first, never seems to end. We've seen that recently in what's going on in the Middle East and in Ukraine. And then there are a number of other places around the world that we just don't hear of because they're not quote unquote important enough for us to hear about in our own news media in our country. But the world story is second verse, same as the first. The arc of the moral universe does not bend toward justice or peace. The way the world works is 
And the way this and the story of uh, one of the first stories in the Bible reminds us is war after war. First thing that happens after Adam and Eve are expelled from the garden, they have two sons and one murders the other. And that story just goes on and on and on because in our broken hearts there is too often a hatred that arises, a desire for something that someone else has that arises. That's the root of all of our problems, this brokenness in us. It's the same story, generation after generation after generation. But in the psalm for today, we're told that there's another song that can be sung. These are the words, once again, from Psalm 149. Praise the Lord. Why? Sing a new song to the Lord. His praise in the assembly of his people. Because of what God has done, there can be a new song. A song that praises the Lord for his goodness toward his people, for his graciousness. And the writer continues, Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the people of Zion be glad in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make to him with timbrel and make music to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the humble with glory. Let his faithful people rejoice in this honor and sing for joy in their beds. Why is it possible that there can be a new song to sing? We believe that it's because the King has come and taken human flesh. The King, Jesus, whom the psalm celebrates, the King who is the one who has come to bring victory to his people, this one has brought victory by his death and resurrection, by taking our own sin and the sin of all the world onto himself, on the cross, to die under its weight and to die under the wrath and judgment of God so that we can be saved so that our lives can be different, so that our lives can sing a different song, a different tune, and different lyrics. We proclaim that darkness and destruction are not the way that God intends for the world to live, but there is something else, another way, the way of peace and justice under God, the way of following in the way of Jesus Christ, the way even sometimes to the cross for us. But there's another song that can be sung even in the midst of the world's darkness and its warfare. And that song, is the song of our redemption, the song of the King coming to us to rescue us from sin and death, the song of Jesus having come to us who sets us free and has set us free from the law of sin and death. We still struggle, the world's still a mess, but we have a new song to sing and a new way to point the world. We can point them to the cross as the place of victory, the cross where God, in his great mercy, meted out his justice not on us, not on us because of our constant warfare and our constant bickering and our constant brokenness of heart, but instead meted it out on Jesus so that we can be free, so that our lives don't have to be lived under the threats and, uh, of the evil, evil one, so that our lives don't have to be lived in obedience to evil. We can sing a new song with new, new, uh, new music and new lyrics. In the lesson for today, the writer lets us know there's a new possibility. We don't have to live in our sin. We don't have to live submitting ourselves to, to the darkness of the world. We don't have to live in slavery to evil. Instead, we live spiritually free and proclaiming that there is one who has set everyone free. We sing for the world a new song, the song of salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. So 
Please join me in prayer. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. O Lord, faithful God, we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls, and all things to your keeping. Deliver us in your righteousness from all that would harm body and soul. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, send your Spirit to the ministers of the Church who bring the good news of Christ's death and resurrection, that they may work through the preaching of this gospel to gather the lost, kindle faith in those who do not yet believe, and sustain us all to the day of Christ's coming. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Blessed are you, O God, and blessed are the persecuted, who suffer for your sake, and whose witness calls all to faithfulness. Bring peace to the nations, make our leaders wise, just, and honorable, and deliver us from terror, violence, and oppression. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, comfort us by your abiding presence and satisfy all who call on you in need. Grant them patience in the midst of suffering and, according to your will, release them from their afflictions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, be with your church and all her members who belong to you by baptism and faith. At the bidding of the Lamb, our shepherd, give us ears to hear your word and faith to receive him in his blessed sacrament. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, grant that we may be brought to everlasting life with the faithful who have gone before us and who now rest from their labors. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we give you thanks that you have washed us in the blood of the Lamb, written our names in the book of life, and made us a royal priesthood and heirs of an eternal inheritance. Though we are unworthy of your saving grace, we pray you to hear us in the name of Jesus Christ, in whom, with whom, and through whom all honor and glory is yours, Almighty God, now and forever. We offer also before you the prayer our Savior taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against you. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.